welcome back to Honest Straightforward Reviews. In today's episode, I'm super excited to bring to you guys a video on how to easily get the maximum FPS and the maximum juice out of your AMD graphic cards. I'll be doing this by optimizing the settings to the absolute maximum. This is a very easy, safe guide that is for all AMD GPUs, be it old or the newest and greatest 6900 XT. Without further ado, before I begin, I would like to let you guys know this channel completely survives on your likes and subscription. If you like content like this, please do subscribe to the channel. It will ensure that I can get more videos out to you guys. And if you feel like it, please do also ring the bell icon so you're notified when I make more of these sort of videos. Now, this is a video that is super easy and it will help you to, first of all, get improved visuals of your game and also also at the same time increase your FPS to the absolute maximum. It improves stability and reduces input lag. This is done by a full optimization of the settings. I would like to add that if you're a noob at this, don't worry. This is a video that is made for you. It's super easy to follow. It does not increase your risk of heat output or make your system unstable. It's completely safe to follow this. Now, before I begin, what I want to do is a few tweaks and these are done to Windows. So first of all, what I want you guys to do is go into your search bar and just type game mode. Okay, game mode is a Windows app that lets you record stuff, that lets you optimize your computer. However, it is notorious to clash with AMD software. So what I want you to do is as soon as you get game mode, go into game mode settings and what I want you to do is turn off game mode. The other thing that I want you guys to turn off is game bar, which is above that. Also turn that off as well. This can improve if you're having crashing issues. This will improve that. This will also improve shuttering and performance issues as well. The next little thing I want you guys to do is make sure that your monitor is running at the correct specs it is. So for example, my monitor, monitor is a 144 hertz 2K panel. So what I want you guys to do is just right click on the desktop and go into to display settings and after that what I want you guys to do is go down all the way to advanced display settings which is down at the bottom of that page what I want you guys to do is look at the information there so for example I've got my resolution for this video set at a full HD and I've got it at uh, 6 bits and I've got a 144 Hertz so that's the most important thing so I've got standard dynamic range as well for games that I don't need it for okay which which doesn't matter okay but what I want you guys to check out is the 144 Hertz you can do this by going into display adapter properties for display one for example and what I want you guys to do is go into the monitor tab and select the right refresh rate so my monitor refresh rate is 144 Hertz instead of 90 or whatnot after you've done that just click apply and okay the next little trick that I've got is a little tweak it's called ULPS ultra low power state by turning this off you'll be ensuring that the GPU doesn't enter this state when it does enter this state it can cause a lot of stuttering and a lot of throttling to the FPS as well which is not uh, what you want okay so what I want you guys to do is again go down to the search bar and just type reg edit so after you've typed reg edit there should be an app called registry edit coming up click on that go on to key local machine okay as I have and press control find or go into edit and find and type search for ULPS and find next you might not have this in that case that'll be great you don't need to do anything however I do I have to change it so when it's found it it should say enable ULPS what I want you guys to do is just double click on that and change the value to zero after you've done that just click okay and cancel out of that screen for any reason if you need to revert back to the old setting you just need to go in there and put one to and click OK and get out of it like we just did now the next bit I want you guys to do is I, I think it's very important because I 
If you guys know a little bit about the uh, computer world these days, shutdown is not shutdown. Shutdown is sleep, okay? I want you guys to remember, shutdown is sleep, restart is shutdown, okay? So if you, what you would normally think is if you shut down your computer, you're giving it a full start. No, what it's doing is just back, backing everything up onto your uh, hopefully super fast SSD. And then when it's booting it back up, it's going to boot from there, okay? So it makes the boot process faster, okay? So if you want a clean start, you need to restart. So I would recommend at this point to restart your computer. Now let's get into the next part. This part is where you will be playing around with your AMD GPU software and it's completely safe to do so. So first of all, what I want you guys to do is click anywhere in the, on your screen, not on an icon or anything, just in an empty area and you should see a pop-up come up. And on that, I want you guys to click on AMD Radeon software. Now, if you, for any reason, if you don't have the AMD Radeon software there, what I want you guys to do is not worry too much about it. I've got a link in the description below go on to that link and you can auto download it from amd's website so it's going to be looking like this and you just click download for it to auto detect your amd hardware and after it's downloaded it what i want you guys to do is just click on it and then click install and it should after a while bring up what you need to install once you're done what i want you guys to do is basically click on where i started so anywhere on the screen and go into amd Radeon software and in the main panel you should be greeted with the home after you've just it should give you setup stuff in the start if it was your first time skip all that you don't need all that so you should have your latest software here so you should have all your latest software information on your right hand side and what GPU you're using and things like that what I want you guys to do is go into gaming from here and into games and then global graphic settings what I want you to go into is it's got different options there for gaming esports and standard esports is the one we're going to be using so click on esports so this should enable most of what we'll require but we need to do a few optimization in here so first of all anti-lag is very important and it reduces the input and frame lag so what i want you guys to do is enable this definitely enable this the next one, Radeon Chill, that's for mostly for things like laptops and it just makes your laptop run a bit cooler and things like that. If you're running a desktop, don't worry about it. If you're gaming on a laptop, I wouldn't even worry about, worry about it on a laptop. Basically what it does, it, it adjusts your uh, FPS to draw less power and things like that. I wouldn't play around with it. If you're gaming Fortnite, you don't want it to adjust your f uh, frame rates, lower it down to, at a key moment in a battle and things like that. Now, the next set of information that I got for you guys is Radeon Boost, which reduces your resolution and it reduces your visual quality. And that is done in favor of your FPS. So in case, like your GPU is struggling and things like that what I would say is this would help with that however my recommendation here is best to have this completely off not have it on as you don't want it to tinker with stuff behind the background and you losing a match now image sharpening is something that most gamers do it heavily optimizes basically your visual fidelity and it boosts it allowing you in a way to play at resolutions that are lower without a, much of a visual impact now what i would suggest for you guys is to enable image sharpening by radeon and if you've got a laptop have it about 80 that's really good but if you've got a desktop have it around 20 to 30. it's very important to have it at around that mark you can play around with it some people have it off if they've got a desktop for laptops is definitely on i prefer it on at around 30. next one is vertical refresh or v-sync okay have this off okay always off not off unless this on unless that always on always off the reason for that is what this does is actually locks in your refresh rate okay and that increases input lag so when you're playing with your mouse or uh, controller it actually has
has an input lag and also it introduces a lot of other problems as well so completely off guys now what I want you guys to do next is navigate down to the advanced on the left hand bottom okay which gives you more options so first of all what I want you guys to do is mostly leave everything as is okay so anti-aliasing use application settings anti-aliasing method multi sampling and the morphological anti-aliasing leave it at disabled astrophic filtering is disabled as well best to do with uh, that is just to enable it inside the game and see how you go with that personally I don't need it now this is very important the texture filtering quality what I want you guys to do is change that to formants surface format optimization is going to be enabled now this is where the most important place is where you get a lot of frames and it optimizes it okay so tessellation mode what I want you guys to do is override application settings and the maximum tessellation level to switch it completely off now next one you have is OpenGL triple buffering okay switch that to disable you don't require that now some people even might have a option to enable 10 bit for your monitor I have you can do it as well if it's stable sometimes it makes it unstable for me it's very very stable I love 10 bit so I turned it on now resetting shader cache what I would recommend to you guys is to re reset your shader cache after you've done this for the first time and then to reset it every month or two months or at least once a year because what that means is if you're playing through games a lot so for example if you if you're one of those guys who've got time on his hand and smashes a game out within a month and finishes it and never plays it again reset that once a month but if you're a person like me who had hardly has time and I'm playing Death Stranded for like six months now resetting that every month would be counterintuitive so what that does is it just gets rid of everything from the previous game that you no longer play and yeah just gets it a little bit fresher so I don't want that because I'll be playing that game for a year I reset it once a year now next thing I want you guys to go is go back up next to graphics go to display okay first of all you've got the option is it Radeon FreeSync so if your monitor has this capability I would like you to turn it on however there's a few different views on this so I'm of this view as well so for example if you're playing non esports games so if you are playing at a high setting so high visual settings not performance okay so high visuals and things like that 4k and all this I would turn this on okay however if you want to play esports games and things like that and you don't want visual tearing and all that and you you have a monitor that supports high refresh rate I would turn this off for example when I go and play games that require high FPS and response rate because what FreeSync does is also make your responses a tiny bit sluggish so I turn it off for esports now next one is virtual super resolution I don't need this turn this off it's useless next one is GPU scaling I don't want your GPU to be scaling anything unnecessary it provides lower input lag if you turn this off so go ahead and turn this off however if you use like black bars or stretch resolution for your monitor leave this on because it'll disable those if you're using them now next one is scaling mode I would like you guys to put this to full panel very bright is something that a lot of people like playing with because it gives you different different visual effects it does not take anything out of your performance okay so it does not affect your performance at all so uh, this is like a bit like HDR okay so enabling HDR doesn't do anything to your GPU it doesn't put more stress on your GPU so very bright is like that as well I have it disabled I don't like playing with those kind of things so now on the right side you've basically got custom colors so if you can enable that you can temperature control and basically take over control of everything this is your personal preference okay so if you like doing this and you like playing with it go ahead and do that because it does not affect your frames per second at all okay I don't touch it I don't like playing around with it and also doesn't do anything to your input lag now the next thing I want you guys to do is scroll up and go back onto the tabs and click onto video which is next to display for myself I've left it at default because I most, mostly play games on this this is for what kind of videos you play so if you're playing videos of uh, sports uh, like soccer and things like that I would have it on sports if you've got you watching movies and things like that you can have it on uh, cinema and things like that so I, I just leave it on default now what I want you guys to do is skip hotkeys device and things like that go into general general is basically just for people who want to have a 
visual matrix so of the of the GPU and CPU and things like that so basically showing how your GPU is doing the fans the cooling and all that so if you want to have that information being shown to you just enable show matrix overlay and that's basically it and then you can play around with how you want it transparency where you want it on the top right hand corner is default but you can have it anywhere in the screen you want now next after you've done that what I want you guys to do is go all the way up and look at the performance tab click on that and it should have the matrix tab there now here is all the information that you can see in regards to your GPU but also your total system so your CPU and RAMs and things like that as well and basically this is really useful if you're troubleshooting and you're overclocking and you just want to find out what's going on especially this is useful if you're experiencing any sort of throttling or stuttering and things like that now this is the tab where you can optimize your overclocking, under vaulting, or just tuning your car to your desire. For example, I have my RX 6900 XT under vaulted, underclocked when I'm playing Fortnite, okay? So I don't need the car to go at the maximum megahertz that even it can boost to. So I've actually locked it to about 2100 megahertz. So it doesn't go over that. I've got it under vaulted to about 1170. And and I've got an aggressive fan curve to keep it cool at the same time as well. Now, I, I'm not going to be looking at that. If you guys want to have have a video of that I have already made a video of that and I'll leave it in the description below but if you want a really thorough overclocking under vaulting and tuning of AMD Radeon cards please do leave me a comment below and I will look into it and I'll make you guys a very in-depth look at overclocking under vaulting especially to different games I'll look at that as well so inside this video I wouldn't be covering that that'll be for another video if you guys liked it so give this video a like and let me know in the end as well in the comments so that's basically it guys you can minimize this or close it and what i want you guys to do is restart your system again restarting it again would give it a fresh perspective and you can go ahead and start playing your games you will notice that games are doing a lot better i can't recommend this more than more especially having game mode off helps me a lot and you lps as well so those two help me a lot with stability and play around with it and see how you go let me know in the comments if you found this useful thank you so much for staying to the end and watching this video i appreciate that take good care bye bye